as my daughter said, he's a monster. And uh, he deserves to be in prison. And with him behind bars, uh, nobody else can get hurt. Minutes earlier in court, the prosecution relived the crime. Rivera going into the gas station, pulling out the sawed off shotgun and shooting Jacob Willerko in the head in front of two children. He would have given uh, Mr. Rivera whatever he needed that night, uh, whether it be a pack of cigarettes or a meal to eat, he would have given it to him if it was his last dollar. And, um, but he didn't have that opportunity. Rivera did not talk in the hearing, but did write a letter. In it, he expressed remorse and said he was sorry to the family. I know he feels awful about it. Um, it was the lowest point in his life, and there was a lot that went into that. It wasn't enough for them. Valerco's sister called Rivera a cruel monster. Her dad said the family is serving a life sentence. They live with the shooting every day and hope for the maximum. Despite that, they continue praying for Rivera. That's very hard, but I just will continue to pray for him because that's what he needs. The family does feel grateful for the prosecutor's office and police department today. They do their job well, and both departments have limited resources, and uh, I feel that they've gone above and beyond the call of duty. And we'd also like to thank the community and everybody who um, poured out their hearts to us.